Hi guys, I'm Dave and welcome to Maker. And today we're going to be talking about these. Ed, you can't fit this. It must be installed by a trained person out there. We've got none of them in. That's just someone being a shit, isn't it? So for those that have asked, and many have, about what dampener is best, what shock absorber is best, is airbags better than springs? Are Fox better than Bilstein? And so on. So I'm going to try my best to answer those questions. So here goes. So the Bilstein Advance, we currently retail these at 160 plus the VAT. We fitted one of these about a year ago and were totally transformed by how the car responded from fitting it. So it took a lot of slack out of the dampening, a lot of the sway out of the steering and overall better feedback. And everyone that's fitted one has said the same. So there's that. Fox obviously noticed what Bilstein were doing and decided to do the same. So Fox developed this one. I recommend that if everyone's running Fox shocks, you run a Fox dampener just to be, you know, follow suit and keep uniformity and all that. Fox, we've had a bit of experience with these, great results. I'd say they're a bit of a stiffer steering dampener than the Bilstein. The Bilstein's a bit of an all-rounder. The Fox, I want to say, is more of a sporty approach. You can see it here. So that's me pulling out on that one. And you'll see on this, a lot more fluid. And then you see with this one. So terra firma design one, it was a return to center. This has got similar technology. So right, we'll move over to the shock absorbers. What you see here is Bill Stein's advance, let's say everyday upgraded shock absorber. Very similar money to the Fox. Everyday performance upgraded shock absorber. What these guys have done is taken a shock, made it better. Same as what Fox have. Fox, you have to buy your boot separately. Bill Stein included the boot. The same again, I want to say, Bill Stein is a very good all-rounder and a very good off-road, basic Land Rover aimed shock absorber, but a very good upgrade. The Fox one is more of a... If you drive your Defender hard and fast, great upgrade. I'd say it's a lot stiffer in the off-road like chunky sections. But what Fox have done, and my supplier does for me, if you ask him nicely, he will give you this spec. You see there? Comfort spec. So he's obviously changing the pressures and the preload and the dampening to give the shock a smoother you know, feel, if you like. So that can, so he's effectively designed this which is you know a halfway house if you like in between it for those of you that follow us let's say relentlessly you'll notice that we fitted these to mr tasker's project rodent and we fitted these they're also on cerberus they're also on wombat and um, there's a few other cars out that these are going on and if the cars are going on some serious adventures we recommend the 2.65 pre-runner shocks because these are just well let's look at it in comparison It's like I'm bigger than you in a very big way. <laughs> this shark, the bushes are bigger, the dampeners are bigger. So if you're ever to full bottom out, you're not just relying on your bump stops. The shocks have a full dampening option available. I'm going to move over to spring, air, that kind of option. So we get lots of clients that I call them the blank check builds, cars that they're spending north of 100,000 on. Most people want air ride. Air ride is fantastic, 
but it's complicated. There's a lot of, you know, extra complications that are added to a defender that could go wrong. So you've got a sensor in the top, you've got height sensors from, on every corner, you've got fittings everywhere, and you've also got the fact that a lot of airlines, and airlines and fittings and debris, but it's a fantastic thing, but these must be ran with the comfort shocks. And Paul, who builds these for us, tweaked and tweaked different shock absorbers until we came up with this shock that suits these bags. So you kind of have to work them hand in hand to get a good all round ride, if you like. Um, we've had some great feedback from the clients that run these, people that run the cars as dailies, up and down the motorway, A roads, B roads, and got great, fantastic feedback from those. And that car behind you has actually got them on. And it's a great thing that if you need to put your car into an oak garage and you need to get under a low beam, perfect entry. And if you want to go down the holy grail of shock absorbers, Tractive have just sent us these. And these are going to be going on my blue car that you saw get in ice blasted last week. These are like the holy grail. And if you see here, there is so much you can do. We just had a little flick through the book today and it's got its own ECU, its own little LCD screen. And see here, you can actually change pressures, pitches, rebounds, all from the touch of a button on this little screen here. How neat is that? So we'll give feedback as and when we fit these and report back to you guys. So the different grades of shocks you can go to. So these are the Fox Remote Reservoirs 2.0s. Remote reservoir to carry more oil. Effective makes a more effective shock over a longer period. So if you're hitting hard, trails hard, they will respond better. Fox do make this version. We actually fitted them to a client's car about two years ago now. I think it was the Offender. And, you know, great feedback. Big shocks to take, big power, and lots of abuse. So big tires bouncing around, unsprung weight, keeping the nap down there, and keeping it where it should be, and that's in contact with the road. So springs, I'm talking about springs. So I want to say 90% of our cars are on springs. And Alive Tuning supplied us these. These are, if you look there, they're built by EBAP, I think you say it, 5122 series, progressive springs, as you said, Edward, I back. I back. Correct me if I'm wrong. Someone will. There's always one person on YouTube. So there you have it. We run these on nearly everything. Spirit's got them on. That little 90 you see over there, the Porsche 90 has got them on. My blue 90 will be having them on. What else have we got them on in here? Everything with springs, pretty much. Fantastic spring. Hands down, the best spring we've used to date. Fantastic road manners, good off-road manners. And as Ratty proved, you can drift with them. So there you have it. If you want to ask a question or you want to buy some shocks, get in touch and I can send you a price. So drop me an email at info at maker.com. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Nicky, what have you been up to today? Uh, Project Christine again, made a four inch aluminium intake, uh, as usual, filter behind the headlight, and also finished off a transmission tunnel on the inside. Yeah, so transmission tunnel's all boxed off, it's going to get carpeted or upholstered or whatever it's going to be having. The high and low diff lock, that's all working mega properly, no bodging. Probably better than it was from the factory, to be honest. So modest, as well. Yeah. If it works, it works, doesn't it? Thank you, my tunnel. Yeah. It's a lovely tunnel, really. Yeah.
find a job. Take a picture of it and copy it next time. You didn't make a template? Yeah, that was, no. Oh, it fuck. was annoying that job was. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Thank you. So Project Pippin has taken good progress. This week we've gone with, we put the standard wing tops back on, standard vents, the screens have gone back, back in. As you see here, we've got some nice stainless pins, nice upgrades. There's certain things on here I wish I could have upgraded, but the customer is on a budget, so I have to keep knocking myself back every time I want to do another upgrade, but he's got no expense here. And the, like the running gear, the drivetrain, which I am happy about. And if you look in here, so we've gone with things like new seat box, new beat posts, new floors. It looks a bit chaotic right now because it is. And tomorrow, I don't know if you've seen the limestone roof that's next door. That is going to look awesome when that goes on. And hopefully Adam's got a couple of thousand left in the bank because I really do want to put a set of limestone banded steels on this car because that will just perfect it. But yeah, we'll get in there. So tomorrow the roof's going to be going on and it'll look more like a Land Rover again. Keep following. No idea, no. They're still on the door.
Yep. Welcome to Maker. Hi. Um, so we're putting a windscreen into our green Porsche 90 today because name and no names, someone had a little <laughs> accident yesterday. Yes. Um, for anyone trying this at home, do you have one tip plenty how to not break your windscreen? Plenty of lubrication. Plenty of lubrication. On the rubber, yeah. Plenty of lubrication. Basically that's it, lubrication. Right. So I suppose, yeah, if it's just, yeah, just the, raw rubber. It, yes, it's yes, just raw rubber. You're the draw. flexing the glass more as well, yes, are you? Yes. While trying to get it in. Yeah, no, it's all about lubrication. There we are.
what is this that you've been working on today? Uh, I'm not sure of the full detail, but I think it's it basically it's two chassis, I think, that have been joined together to make a short wheelbase off-roader. Uh, it's a Rover V8 engine, and it's coming for the full exhaust system. So, just halfway through making that now, really. Obviously, two and a half inch down pipes, as per all the LSs and stuff. And the silencer's hid up, hidden up here at the base, saves any knocks and bangs. All three inch to the back, tail tip. So what we have here is part Tomcat, part home-built trailer. Um, Peter, friend of a friend, came and bought me this trailer last week and said, Dave, I'm struggling to find a good fabricator to make an exhaust. So I grabbed all the Nick and said, Nick, what can we do on this car? And what you see here, this is an in and out silencer. So if you want to go in one end and back out the other, we made that work. So I'll talk you through it. So we've got two and a half inch off the, off the secondaries there, down to our Y section. Y section into our silencer here in three inch and in three inch back to the rear. So this car is going to be used for trialing. So a bit of fun where they go around tight cones, tight spaces, hills, dips, twists, and whoever gets through the cones in the fastest amount of time wins. Great bit of fun. And I do need to build myself one of these. So something that me and the missus can do at weekends and the little boy and have a good bit of fun. I need to definitely add that to the, to the fun list. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Sing for us, Louie. Too quiet. Too quiet. Make me sleepy. What is this piece, Louis? Seed, seed box cover. Oh, is it? What's yeah. the hole in there? Then? So when you lift the seats, it's got like a switch to put the power off. Yeah. So when you can just lift this seat up and get the sand in there, so you can turn off the switch. I get you. Because it's got that rubber carpet on the seat box. Yeah. Yeah, I get it now. So because of the rubber matting, you can't just lift it up no, because like you would normally. This, this goes under the rubber mat. So a little update on Project Christine. Nick has been busy this week making the high and low. And if you look in here, check out that lovely billet work that we've done um, for the high and low. So you've got diff lock and then you've got high and low forwards and backwards. Just check that out. Super neat. Nick's made a cracking job of that. And Tom came this morning to have a look at his project and he was super happy with it. And tomorrow, oh, sorry, I missed a bit there. Louis has been fabricating this rubber mat today. All important, this is a right off-road rubber mat and we've made it fit. So this car originally had an LT77 in and now we've taken the LT77 out, obviously, because we've got rid of the 200 TDI and we've fitted. This is a TD5 tunnel that Nick's modified. So you'll notice here we've made an aluminium cowl that Louis made a fantastic job of wrapping in carpet and making it, let's say, more pleasing on the eye. Um, of course, we've done the usual sound deadening, and if you notice in here, get rid of the horrible taps and rattles that come with Defenders as standard. And then we've made this lovely leather cubby box that's gonna live there. Here, you'll have your automatic, you'll have a couple of cup holders, magnetic charger, the usual works. And yeah, so next week, I wanna say this car is gonna be ripping up the road and making some noises. So 
Thanks for being a good customer, Tom, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.